Open source intelligence. It plays a crucial role in information gathering and analysis. And this is now going to be my first video, which is part of a new series where I'll review a new OSINT tool every week. And for today's video, we're going to focus more towards usernames and emails and how we can find them very easily and quickly. There's lots of tools out there to review, as you can see on the screen, and there's loads of resources that I can point you towards to review different types of tools. As this is the first one in the series, let's start with firstly some background on open source intelligence. Just remember that everything in this video is for educational purposes only. So, the term open source refers to information that's available for public consumption. Initially, OSINT was primarily used by intelligence agencies and law enforcement to gather publicly available information to assist in national security and criminal investigations. Looking back to the pre-20th century, intelligence gathering from open sources has been in practice for centuries, dating back all the way to ancient times. Military leaders and governments historically used publicly available information like newspapers and books to gain insights into their adversaries. Then, looking at the mid to late 20th century, in the World War II and Cold War era, OSIN took more of a formal role in intelligence gathering. Governments systematically analysed open source materials like radio broadcasts and print media for information about enemy intentions and capabilities. However, in the rise of the digital age, which is where the internet revolutionised OSINT, information became more readily available and the volume of open source data exploded with the growth of online news, social media and digital archives. Then looking forward to the 21st century, advancements in tech, especially in data analytics, machine learning, artificial intelligence have greatly enhanced the capabilities of OSINT. Tools for data mining, sentiment analysis and pattern recognition in large data sets have become integral to OSINT practices and it's become vital in fields like cybersecurity. Now, for times that we're in at the moment, OSINT research community has really taken off with more and more people joining forums, meetups and conferences to swap tips and talk about the best ways to do things and come up with cool new OSINT methods. There are a bunch of OSINT tools out there like Recon NG for example and they've got their own groups of developers on sites like GitHub. These people are constantly tweaking and adding new features and building extra bits to make these tools even better. All this teamwork and sharing of ideas has been a huge part of making OSINT what it is today which it is super important for gathering intel and keeping things secure in the cyber world. Now let's get on to discussing what specific tools we have for looking at usernames and email addresses. So this is what you saw at the beginning of the video and it's called OSINT Framework. It was originally set up and focused on gathering information from free tools or resources. The initial intention was in to create a free OSINT resource that most people should easily be able to access. Some of them may change over time where they're not free, however you should be able to at least see what the functionality is if you were to pay or go even further with the license. Big credit goes to the creator who you can find at the bottom of the page, so I recommend giving them a follow. It's easy to use, you just click on whatever you need to look for, for example usernames, username search engines, and you can also see things like email addresses, domain names, IP addresses, instant messaging, dark web, digital currency, there's a whole lot of information on tools and different tools you can use for different tasks. But as I said, we'll be looking at usernames and emails within this video. So let's start with tool number one, which is instant username search. This tool is honestly like a reconnaissance powerhouse. It allows you to swiftly check a username across a numerous amount of social platforms. So basically, if you're a penetration tester, it gives you valuable insights into an individual or organization's digital footprint. And that can be gold when crafting targeted phishing attacks or social engineering tactics. It essentially provides you with a snapshot of the target's online footprint. You can see I've entered my own name and I can see where that name is taken or available across a large amount of social platforms. This can be used and has numerous amounts of use cases available towards you. Whether you're blue team or you're red team, there's many different ways you can use this and it's done within seconds as you saw in the recording just now. 
and you can click on these and go straight to the platform that's all automated for you and it makes it nice and easy so i definitely recommend checking this tool out next up we then have another favorite of mine which is intelligent x in intel x you can use specific terms like email addresses domains or even bitcoin addresses to get exactly what you're looking for and it doesn't just stick to the regular internet it goes into the deep dark net and checks out sh document sharing platforms who is data public data leaks you name it there's loads of it and it's like the ultimate detective for finding info that's not just hanging out in the usual spots that you expect to find them also it's not just about what's happening now because when looking into intel x i saw that they keep a history of searches kind of like the wayback machine if you've used that before for websites so just as you can see on screen now i've searched a bitcoin address and this is an example of the information that's provided this is one case where to click and view the actual information you need to pay for the full version however we can see an example of the data that it can find so you can travel through time and look at things at how they looked in the past or also look at things for currently going on at this moment of time it's like a gold mine for digging up old information and putting the puzzle pieces together so whether you're investigating you're red teaming there's definitely many use cases for it so i highly recommend checking it out and seeing how useful it actually is that then takes us on to our final tool which is dehashed now dehashed is a website that primarily focuses on providing access to breached and leaked data and you might be thinking there's already a lot of tools out there that do this however this is just one of my favorites and i thought i'd definitely show you guys what Dehash does is that it aggregates the data from various breaches and compiles it into a searchable database. So you can search for things like email addresses, usernames, passwords or other information to check if they've been exposed in any data breaches. It essentially serves as a platform for you to assess your vulnerabilities or take appropriate actions to secure accounts. Then let's just say you're a pen tester watching this video and you're wondering how you can use a tool like this. Well, you can basically use it to analyze credentials associated with whoever your target organization is. You can check for leaked passwords that are within use in the organization or identify weak or reused passwords that could be exploited by yourself. So there's many different use cases that you can possibly think of depending on what scenario you're in. So it's definitely one that I would recommend you check out. Just give it a test even if you don't have a specific use case because something might just spring to mind or it might remind you later on at a time when you have a scenario that will be useful for. Hopefully that content's been good for you guys and you've gained a lot of information on some new tools. If so, do join my Discord. The link will be in the comment section down below where we talk about things cybersecurity related and all different types of OSINT tools. As I said before, this will be a weekly series where I go through a bunch of tools. So if you enjoy the content, please do leave a like. It massively helps it out and tells me that you're enjoying this type of content.